What's up, guys? This is Gail Wolfax here, back with another episode of my Minecraft server Let's Play. Um, in the last episode, I showed you guys a prank I did against all the other server members. Um, in this episode, I'm going to... I mean, we're going to expand the castle, which is currently not able to be seen, because I am in tiny render distance. Um, we're going to need some quartz. I'm not... Well, I meant some iron. Let's go ahead and, oh, I don't want get, to get rid of them, I just want to get them off my bar. Let's get some glowstone put shops there. Um, let's grab a couple stacks of lime wool. What's up here? Nothing. Okay, so let's grab a lot of stone. So we're going to need it for stone brick and regular stone, and we're also going to need some cobble, so if I can open this chest. Um, any day now. Uh-oh. That's not, not, that's not a good sign. Maybe I... Oh, there. Oh, ooh. That's uh, a little server lag. No problem, no problem. So let's grab a couple stacks of just plain old cobblestone. Because I am going to be using a little bit. But really quickly, let's just walk over here. Or run, jump, whatever. Over here. This is how far we are. So, right over here. In another Minecraft tab. I have this world loaded. Now as you can see, I've done a lot to this world. I'm going to take a quick tour of what I've expanded on. I've done six to eight rooms. Eight rooms, I think. Ignore those blocks over there. But let's go ahead and look at these rooms. Our first room right here is our main food source. The uh, Mushroom Farm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so let's turn down the render distance on this. Because we're not going to really need it. Uh -huh. This room over here is a cactus farm. Really simple design, and I probably could move like this here and another, put another one there and expand it a little bit but this way there's less of a chance of the cactus getting destroyed and just by AFKing and building most of this look at how much cactus we've gotten note that this is a creative world so we're not going to be able to use this but this will help us get rid of some of those cactus I have laying around the front that will no doubt be a pain to get around I know I keep jumping from side to side, but that I'm kind of just going in the order I built them. Green sheep farm, because we're going to need a lot of lime wool, so we're going to have a little farm area for them. We're going to need to put some more gl um, light in. So let's do that right now. Oh, that would be my iPad if you heard that blong. Probably not enough light still. But, it'll have to do for now. What I did with this room, it was supposed to look like it's like... There's a window outside. But you as you can see, it clearly sets the light blue wool. The light is coming from the leaves over here. And we'll go on the outside, because I haven't covered anything up yet. After we're done here. This next room, probably the ugliest lo looking one, but the most automatic, is an automatic pumpkin and melon farm. Same design. You, um, I found this design on um, DocM77's channel, and all I have to do is hit this button, 
and it's going to crush the melons and as you can see some of the end the ends are going to get picked up maybe no oh, there we go by these two hopper mine, mine carts and then boop no uh oh get down here Angela Oh, is that a trap chest? Seriously? What's going on? Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to empty out. So, yeah. Lighting with uh, jack o' lanterns. Um. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through the entire building of this, just because you can just look on DocM77's channel and see how it's made, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it. Next. And as you can see, I've pretty much gone with the same idea of the quartz pillars and stairs, out a little bit from the wall with a closed stone at the top three blocks distance, then some iron fences with an ender chest in the center, and some glowstone behind it to light up the place. Three more blocks, another room, three more blocks, fence, etc, etc. I like the design. I don't, I don't know how you guys will feel about it, but I like it. That's what I'm going to stick with. Now this one room right here is an auto smelting room. The idea is Back there is an area where I'm going to put some blaze rods to constantly fuel these furnaces. And up here I'll put whatever I want smelted. Hopper will bring it down, cook it right in here. Then there's another hopper below this, which actually, yep, another hopper below that. Sending it into a chest for me to collect. Only downside about this is I don't get the experience from said cooked items, but it's kind of worth it because it's a little more automatic. Don't have to worry about as much. Um, did I do? No. Okay, maybe I only have seven rooms made. No, no, only six. No seven. Here is a um enchanting area. Enough books around for level 30 enchant. Actually, I can't show you guys that. Let's get a random tool. Diamond pickaxe. Enough books around it for level 30 enchantment, and ooh, that's a good one. I'm gonna toss it out. Then we have an anvil over here. Kinda, I thought it was a cool design on the roof. Using a uh, quartz stairs and uh, slabs. And then, kind of cool design right here using the uh, stairs. And there's nothing over there. So right here is kind of a work in progress to a certain degree. It's my bedroom. And the more I think about it, the more I think I should have waited and put it at the end where it's going to be probably not too far down but yeah that's that then kinda have to quickly run and unfortunately as of right now I'm kinda trapped but there we go Okay. I should pr probably dig it one more down so I don't get my head stuck in there and I can actually dig myself out. I'll do that right now. And boom. There we go. Secret passage. I'm not going to tell you guys what that's for quite yet. But. Now it's time to head into the original secret passage. 
Well, the original secret entrance, that is. Uh, do I have it? Yeah, I have it opened up already. So if you remember last time I showed off this place, just jump down here. And you are in a secret area. Now this area hasn't this area itself hasn't changed too much. But if you go over here, ignore the ignore the holes in the ground, actually I'm gonna just temporarily fill those in. Because I'm gonna have to get rid of it anyways. But and actually, I'm going to grab myself a pick and go into game mode of zero. Now, I'm going to take this pickaxe, destroy this block. Okay. Strange, but just gotta hit this button. Pull the oh, pull these two blocks out. The mo the moss is just kind of there to make it stick out without it sticking out too much because some there are, are some other spots on the floor that are mossy. I'll probably randomize it completely when I do it in the world. But you come into here, and then there's another button right here to close it off. Not as hidden from the inside, but you don't, don't really need it to be. Then let's just go ahead and jump back into creative. And we'll jump up here. And by now you can probably tell what this is. An iron golem farm. Now. Here's the thing. If we go over here you see I have another one. So two iron golem farms, no big deal. Nothing too insane. Now imagine both of these with another one on top. At least one more. So that's four golem farms. Still understandable. Well, we're not even done with this side over here once this area loads. Come on. It's probably going to finish up around this area, maybe. Somewhere around here. Because I think I'm going to close it off here. Um, so, two more golem farms on both sides. And they're both going to be double layered. So that's eight iron golem farms. We're going to have a lot, a lot of iron. Now let's dive down here and see my killing system. Now, after I did all this, all this, I kind of thought to myself, well, I could just kind of kill them here and have hoppers move them. But then I also thought, what if I want some of the iron golems to leave? Ooh, well, this this is a problem. That was, I, I'm going to change the design when I do, it's just that if I go any lower, that's the void. So, good to know though, good to know. Like, what I do in this is not finalized by any means, oh, crap. So, keep that in mind when you're looking at all of this. I might change some of it up. Oh, and then I have glass up here. Then what I want to do is... Oh, I'll just do that for now. Like I said, this is just kind of work in progress because we're going to need to add another tunnel from over there once we get that done. But now, to work on what we are going to do this episode, in the act- Ooh, I hope I'm not dead, I hope. Ooh. 
I just kind of left myself out in the open there. Now, let's go and hover up here. No, I want to go T. And then flip back over to the creative, to this world. All right, still alive. That's good. Now, what we're going to want. Have I finished? Okay, we're gonna need some stone, stone brick stairs. And actually, I'm going to go get some wood to make a crafting bench over closer to where I am. Which may seem like a bit of a waste, but oh well. I'm sure, I'll keep that uh, that extra iron with me, because you never know when you're gonna need more iron. just tried to fly. I've been doing a lot of creative, well, quite a few creative builds, like this, and I have another idea for the server I've been doing in, creative, in a creative world. It's going to make two stacks. Like that, then we'll go like this. We'll start off that, and it's on the inside. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, let's go F one T. No. Get rid of the sword at least. <laughs> All right. So. Oh. Now, yeah, it goes all around before we start getting a little fancier. <laughs> That'll fail. I know I could just ender pearl back up, but I don't want to waste my ender pearls. Because that means I would have to go get more. much I can talk about like life wise right now. Um, I think things have finally calmed down from the last couple weeks. Then again I do have my graduation parties. I'm having two actually because one is for friends and family down here and then another one is for the family but by where we used to, we originally lived and most of the family is because a lot of that family is older, it's harder for them to travel, so it just makes it, uh, that was stupid to me. Okay, let's plop that right out. Yeah, this is so much easier to in creative mode, as you would expect. So what can you do? I promised I would do this entire building legitimately. And that's what I'm going to do. Unless something glitches out, in which case, yeah, but I'm not going to... Yeah. Actually, did I say I was... If I didn't say I was going to do this all legit, I meant to say it. And it's a big build, so... Um, here's something I guess I can talk about. I might be recording today, but I might have another episode out sooner than expected. And you can thank um, SOSDF for this one, the owner of the server. He told me that we were going to switch to this world. And that, that Friday, I should expect to record something else we'll be doing on this world. <clears throat> now, I don't know what that is. But all I know is that it has to do with a boat he's made. That's all he's told me. 
So look forward to that. If if that does happen, he, and he said it might not even work. I, so I don't know what he has planned. He said it can add something to do with a plugin. So he said, I think he said it's kind of, but not really. Huh. <laughs> So I don't know what to expect. And I guess we'll find out tomorrow or whenever we have to rec whenever he decides to do it. And he also said it was on this world file. So if I really wanted to, I could go looking. But I don't think I will. No sense in spoiling a surprise. Like, like when you were a kid and you searched your house for your birthday gifts, or Christmas gifts, both I guess, just to see what you get. Does it make it even any more worth it because you found out what it was? No. <clears throat> yeah, I'm recording a lot later than I usually am, so I should probably cut the video. Uh, I probably should cut the video here soon. We will do our first couple, our first ring of this. Oh, oh. Yeah, we ha we've barely even started on this in the actual world. But. I'm kind of glad I get to do a bigger build than I, I'm used to. Get a little more experience with this kind of stuff. Hmm. Also, just a quick update. For those of you who watch my other videos, um, if you remember my old um, Yu-Gi-Oh! DDR series, I canceled that. Now, I'm kind of considering bring, doing something like that again, but I don't think it's going to be as scheduled, so it's just going to be like regular dual network stuff. Or maybe not even dual network. I'm not going to say too much. I'm not even sure if I'm going to do it. And I'm not even sure if many of you care. So. Oops. That should finish it up for us. Oops. Um, actually, this might be a little easier for us. I wish I would have thought. Oh, thought about it sooner. Except for stuff like that. And even that is fairly easy. So good. This does make it a lot easier. Cutting kind of close. So, might need to get a few more. Uh, nope, nope, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, so let's head up, see what we've got. Hmm. Actually, I just thought of something. Hmm. Depending on how I do the pistons, I could have a water elevator to get at that. That's something I'm going to have to experiment with. Nice thing in there, nice thing in there. Alright, so we'll start like the little, I just tried to put it to the screen. 
if you can see my map, you actually, yes, you can see. Can you? Yes, you can. Alright, so these little white lines, I'll do that real quick because we are running kind of short on time. We are about 25 minutes in as of right now. But since I haven't uploaded much of this in quite a while, so it's three. Hmm? What, what did I mess up? Did I make this too short? I hope I didn't. Uh, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. It's five, one, two, three. Two, three. Actually, here's something I want to ask you guys. Um, if I were to say at the end of every single one of my videos, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Would that convince you to subscribe? Would that get you thinking more about subscribing to my channel? Because I've kind of been talking to one of my friends, and he said, you know, you should say, um, you should tell your subscriber, your, um, viewers to subscribe at the end of every one of your videos. I'm personally kind of against that. I find it more annoying than convincing. And I guess even convincing isn't the right word for what I'm trying to get across. But you guys tell me in the comments below what you think. Because he kind of... What he was saying was it, that I don't have as m too many views on my videos. At least as of recently. I actually have a lot of views on some of my old videos. But I think that was... And it was on my old um, Beyblade videos. And I think that was mainly because at the time not as many people were doing it. Crap. So there were less options of who you wanted to go to. Of who you could go who, who you could go to, I guess. So that's because I have like hundred thousand plus views on some of those videos. And then my recent videos have just been getting like twenty some. And honestly that's completely understandable. My videos are crap compared to a lot of people's. I will fully admit it. I mostly oh, oh. crap. That's not a good sign. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, crap. <sighs> well, crap. I did something wrong. Okay, let's see real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, come on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crap. Okay. So that means I have something to fix off screen. But I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. We're about, we're about half an hour in right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it here. Please tell me what you think about that in the description. The, yeah, in the description. In the comments below. Right below. Right down there. Yeah. <laughs> but I will fix it before the next minute and we will continue on with this floor and maybe get started with, uh, the starting walls and maybe the starting floor, maybe maybe a little bit down. Actually, I don't know. We'll say that for a couple, couple more episodes. Actually, next episode we might have that special surprise, and I'll and you'll be able to tell right away if it's if that's a surprise because we'll probably have more than one person talking. But anyways, guys, I'm rambling on long enough, so hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This is Gail Wolf X signing out. See you guys in the next episode. Wee, wee.
laggy spin. See you guys.